I want to talk about tourism because that, that's been in the news lately, you know, um, the Department of Tourism recently launched this new uh, campaign, the, yes. the Tourism Roadmap, right? Yes. Um, I would think that shipping, ferries would play a big part because it's, it's, you're the best way to connect all of the islands. And we yes. are, you know, yes. we keep saying it, our maritime nation, right? Yes, yes. What, what, what can be done? What, what are, you, are you in touch with the Department of Tourism? Or maybe what would, what would you like the Department of Tourism to know that's available from, from your association? Well, the, the Secretary of Tourism boarded our ship nice. uh, like two weeks ago. Secretary Frasco. Yeah. Um, because, of course, she's a very hardworking secretary. Yeah, she's familiar because she's from Cebu, right? Yes, so, yeah. yes. And we have two boats there, no? Yeah. Connecting Cebu to uh, Bacolod and yeah. Cebu to Bohol. Yeah. So I, they, they see the significance of this uh, moving bridges yeah. or, or this, this fast cats. Yeah. So uh, there's so many beautiful islands, right? So if we just um, go to one island, there are many options. You can drive yeah. all the way from Manila. Uh, along the nautical highway to see the Philippines. Sure. It has its own value because then you stop in different islands, you eat in different restaurants and you know see different views. Mm. Um, but you can also do island to island like sure. Medoro to Katiklan sure. or Bacolod Iloilo right. or Cebu Bohol right. um, because we have so many beautiful islands talaga to explore and to experience and yeah I guess I guess, can I invite your uh, viewers <laughs> <laughs> to please try yeah. the Roro Network and yeah. see for yourself uh, how beautiful our islands are and how convenient it is right now to see the islands. What are the, the biggest misconceptions about, you know, for, for people who may not have traveled by, by ferry, what are the biggest misconceptions yeah. about traveling by sea? I uh, actually did like a focus group uh, discussion on that and I asked okay. a, Nakasakay ka na ba ng barko? Have you ever yeah. taken a boat? I go, I know because it's not safe. Yeah. You know, <laughs> or or we or, you know we we're not proud of this, but yeah. we hold the highest record of uh, maritime deaths yes. on uh, peacetime, and this yeah. is Doña Pass, no? Yes. So yeah, people have the notion that is it's not safe. Yes. And you know, um, we have different kind of kinds of ships in the Philippines. No, it's yes. not naman regulated. No, so yeah. there are old ships, new ships, wooden ships, yeah. uh, steel, uh, steel. So it's different. So so one would be safety, the safety okay. issue, and of course uh, because of the weather. You have uh, different um, tides right. uh, and, and condition. Right. So some people are not uh, riding the ships because... Uh, they get know, seasick. They get, yes, they get okay. uh, seasick. Uh, but yes, but what I can say, it's a highly uh, regulated industry. Um, we are regulated by our marina, Coast Guard. Uh, make sure that it's every trip is... Uh, right. um, uh, inspected and checked. But is that why you chose the catamaran style? Because I mean, that, I mean that seems more comfortable, yes. right? Yes. Rather more than stable. Yeah, yeah. Then rather than the you know the, the monohull, the monohull ships. Yes. Is, is that is that why you picked it? Uh, oh yeah, definitely okay. the design. No, that's why we always say it's uh, designed also for the Philippine waters. We consider that. Okay. Um, the, the design has a big, big thing. You know, big thing contribution to the safety right. of the ship. So when we were thinking about this business, we thought about the Filipino. You know, we had the Filipino in mind. So the, the kind of travelers that we are, we're right. having bit bit, right. and, and what we serve in the in the snack bars are something that can contribute to to uh, us knowing the Philippines. So we, we support farmers right. by selling their like banana chips or right. or their suman. Right. Uh, and what right. we realize is that um, you know when we brought the Mindoro suman to um, Cebu, and then we we did the launch there, and people. Saw that the the Midoro Suman Palais triangle and their <laughs> Suman is pahaba and it's white or in yeah. Mindanao it has ube inside or yeah. chocolate inside, but we get to know um, the culture of each island and get we get, we get to know each island more yeah. and and our people more. You know. Did, did you say earlier that you 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 were like when you were recounting the story of your company you were visiting your your parents in Samar? Yes, Calvayo, my father-in-law. If I remember correctly, and I, I've only been in that area long time ago once only uh, very scenic coastline yeah, yeah, lots yeah, yeah. of cliff formations that you would see yes, in Vietnam or yes. San Francisco that, 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 that yes, area yes. but 
Are there, you know, is that another advantage of maybe traveling by, by ferry? Because it's pretty difficult to access those areas by, by, by air, of course. That's true. There, there are conveniences, you know, faster, but there, there, are, there are scenes that you miss when you're 30,000 feet in the air, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, I think now with social media, yeah. YouTube, yeah. Um, you can actually get to know about the island, uh, the destination you're going to, right. with just watching what's available online. Right. Uh, but of course, it will help if, if our uh, Department of Tourism right. will work hard um, in having videos and campaigns or the, the places to see right. in the islands. And then, of course, right. we support them by showing it inside our ships right. and our uh, videos. Right. Uh, so, but it's collaboration. I think the the industry and uh, the government can uh, work together and with with other stakeholders for uh, the betterment of our uh, tourism and uh, country. Sure. So, win win if we yeah. if we make that happen. Are, are are you looking? I know I know you're looking at sixty ships. Are, are you? I mean, and we were saying, sir, that's not even enough for the Philippine oh, yeah. demand, right? But are, are you somehow maybe looking at the possibility later on on maybe serving like Malaysia, Indonesia, which are yes. close by? Yes. Is that because I mean I understand there's a lot of ferry, but they use Bangka, right? Yes. To yes. to go back and forth yes. in those yes. areas. Yes. Is that something that you're looking at? And what 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 would uh, what would make you? pursue that faster? We uh, actually uh, want to connect Palawan to Malaysia. Okay. So, Balabak to Sa Sa Sabah. Sabah. Okay. Yeah. In fact, uh, the government of Malaysia had already okay. built uh, the ramp okay. oh. and the port okay. uh, to connect. They've been asking us to connect, but one. Di pa Malaysia. Eh? I know, but <laughs> yeah, but one. Uh, one of the issue would be the BIQ, the the CI, sorry, CIQ, Customs Insurance and Quarantine I Procedure. See. I you see. know the way they do in EU when you cross the country. It has to be aligned. Seamless, yeah. Yes, and seamless. So that's something that has to be worked on. Right. Uh, we wanted to connect General Santos to Bintung, Indonesia. Wow. Yeah, but then again, um, ships is what we need, the hardships. And then, you know, by law, we need to dry dock every two years. And the dream of really meeting the dry docking goals is kind of difficult because now we have to import parts, uh, okay. so many things outside our control. Right. So, like, Systems again. Then, right. if you have ships, you need to have the steel industry. You need to have shipyards. You need to have certified welders. Right. And all of them are abroad. Right. <laughs> so you know these things. This this has to be aligned. Right. So that we have a smooth implementation and then a stronger industry. Wow. And you were saying something about you know when we were talking before something about the taxes that uh, somehow there are incentives if you import them. Yeah. But if you buy locally, then you have to pay the tax, which is yeah. kind of an odd. Is, is that, is that yes. uh, an yes. accurate recollection of what you're yes. saying? Yes, we have raised that to uh, okay. our regulator, Marina. Okay. So when you import a ship uh, made abroad, okay. you get to import it tax-free. Okay. Okay. Uh, but when you build it here in the Philippines, all your inputs... That's have 12%. to be taxed. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Have to okay. be taxed, no? Okay. So, so we're saying, oh, what do we Doesn't do here? Doesn't make sense. Yeah, but so, so it's like you're encouraging people to import, right? Rather than build it here, right? Like, so I, I was telling you that my, our two sons are studying um, in Maritime College in uh, New, New York, right? And uh, what I found out is that you know, how the, the states really grew their maritime industry is that they have an act, the Jones Act, that says uh, all the ships flying the, the U.S. Uh, territories must be built in the states. Wow, wow. You know, all of these issues, I feel like I'm drowning a bit <laughs> because there's so many things, but if there were just, you know, a, a couple of things that need to be addressed first, right, to promote uh, shipping or transportation of people, logistics, tourism, is there something, uh, one or two things that should be done above all the other things that are needed because there's so many, right? Yeah, yeah. What are yeah. the top two things that maybe yeah. should uh, you know, I think click, we're, we already started doing um, the first one that I was going to say. Okay. It's really like engaging the stakeholders okay. into a conversation, creating okay. awareness so that together we can find solution to our issues. No? Okay. Um, for me, 
I don't want to spend negative energy on yeah. on like crab mentality sure. or all those negative things. We can things. complain about bureaucracy exactly. and yeah. politics and corruption, but exactly, I don't want that anymore. You anyone. decide yeah. to be positive. Exactly, though. like I don't want to spend energy okay. doing complaining, but rather finding the solution. Okay. And how do you find that when you get the industry together and okay. let's talk about our issues and then together let us find a solution. And I don't know if you noticed that recently there has been a lot of um, marriage time um, yes. um, con conferences. There's a maritime forum at the beginning of the year. Yes. We had our own, of course, a couple of months ago. Yes. Yeah. Like there's film marine and there's Expo So you, you Philippines. think that the tide is turning? There's more yeah, attention? Yeah, I think uh, that's helping a lot. Okay. Um, getting the industry closer, not to fight, but to, to have one uh, solid stand and uh, yeah. find a solution. Like uh, the Maritime League will have a Beacon, Blue yeah. Economy Conference happening in on September 6th to 8th, oh, wow. okay. uh, gathering together minds, uh, stakeholders, so that we together, we can look at the blue, blue economy. And I think the time to act is now and not waste time because okay. in other countries, they're already talking about electrification and uh, being carbon uh, neutral. Um, and where are we? <laughs> where are we as a nation? So yeah, one, if you're asking me about two things, that's one, uh, getting the conversation, finding solutions uh, to, to whatever we're doing, and creating awareness. And I think, yes, uh, can we get the conversation on any time maritime going? <laughs> <laughs> Let's think about maritime. And then, of course, that um, all the, the support that the maritime industry needs, uh, design of ports, um, yeah, the allied industries to support, whether it's education, steel, uh, sana mar, mar, training, I hope, yeah. uh, training, I hope Marina uh, finds that um, the solution on the incentivization of building ships in the Philippines, banks to support uh, this because yeah. this is an infrastructure project. Yeah. So yeah, I think uh, wow. th that would be it. Well, you know, you know I, I, I invite you back because there's so much stuff to discuss. Now, I feel frustrated because I, I feel like that we just scratched the surface. Iceberg. But, but, <laughs> but Mar Mar the iceberg. Thank you very much for your Thank time. You. Before we go, maybe you'd like to leave a, a message for our audience. Yeah. Uh, maybe give them a short message. Thank you very much for giving me this time to talk about maritime and uh, and, and giving us the attention that, that we need. Uh, our, the Philippines has embarked, well, FASCAT embarked on a modernization program that uh, we hope to change, that hopes to change the way we do business in the Philippines and connecting the island. So not the alis puno, but living on time, yeah. uh, having digital ticketing and giving the Filipino the service that they need. Uh, being a maritime nation, we hope that when they ride our ships, they can see the potential of the maritime industry. So allow me to invite the viewers to please come, take, uh, take, the, ferry. take the ferry, take the Roro. Um, it's, our country is beautiful with its 7,641 islands. We have a lot of uh, government officials uh, coming to our office to say, please connect our islands, please connect our islands. We want to do that and um, the, the way we can do that is if we have more um, support from the different industries uh, that will make our industry stronger. Um, for us, we are uh, trying to do our part in nation building, in national unity, in um, embedding in our in the Filipinos' minds the importance of us being a maritime nation. And we hope that more people will be on board in the conversation. Well, I, thank I, you. I, Dred, thank you again. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank our viewers watching this program uh, and those watching this uh, on the replay. I'd like to thank Pastor Apollo Kibuloy for making this program possible. This has been Business and Politics. I'm Dante Klinkang, and I will see you next week.